Hey, Captain Brock. Good morning, Roland. How are you, man? Yeah, we haven't fished together in a while. We were on the on the boat up in Sarasota yep. together, and yep. we had a good time. Hey, Brock's going to take us out for some tarpon, and not just little tarpon. We're in Charlotte Harbor now, and this is this is more than just tarpon. Yeah, this these, is yeah, mega these, tarpon. These are the epitome of giant tarpon. <laughs> now, he's eat up with, with tarpon like I was 30 or 40 years ago. That's all I wanted to do was tarpon fish. I kind of gave it up lately. But he's talking about 200 pound tarpon, and that has my dander up a little bit. And here's my son, Scott. Hey, son, are you ready to catch your biggest tarpon ever? I know, I have redemption. Really redemption? I had my biggest one on the other day. How big do you think it was? At least 400 pounds. No, I think 220. <laughs> it's big. It's big. Well, anyway, hey, we're after some big giant fish today, folks. We got uh, all artificial. Right? Yep, all, all artificial. artificial. That's all I use, yep. And, uh, and this is in a secret spot that Brock's got. This is the middle of summer. This is September. This isn't normally the tarpon season. It's my tarpon season. <laughs> your tarpon season. Hey, let's get going. Let's do it. Well, folks, we're out, we're underway, and uh, I'm going to rig up my tackle. I got my old, old Mitchell gigantic tarpon reel that I've had for years and years and years. It's a 488 European model, and I've rebuilt the drag. And I've, uh, it's got 65 pound braid anyway, it's a big time deal. I'll rig it up, but I'll also use Brock stuff too. We'll just use a little bit of everything. What you rigging up, Scott? Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Scott's got a, another big deal rigged up, just about like the one I had. What I have. He can do the drum. Anyway, these are the big That's the one. I got. Same kind of deal. <laughs> a cool shot. All right, so this is a very special day for me. Yeah. One, because I have both of you legendary bass fishermen on the boat. Two, if we hook six tarpon a day, yeah. we'll hit the 500 mark for the year. A 500 giant really? tarpon. Really? Oh, God. And if I get 500, the 500th fish yes. with you guys on the boat, <laughs> Game oh, over. Game over. <laughs> We're going sushi early. Yes, we are. That's a lot We're of tarpon, folks. Sake. 500 tarpon. 500 tarpons. <laughs> That's a lot of tarpon. These are big ones, too. These aren't little baby tarpon. These are, this isn't like little, little baby Nemos. No. This is Shamu's. It's a whole <laughs> different animal. Ready? ready to go catch some tarpon? Let's yeah. Go. We're ready. We're ready. Everybody Let's go. We're ready. Okay, what are, we doing? what are we doing? We got the trolling motor going. And yeah, we're, we're cruising around about a mile and a half, an hour, and um, we got three three rods out the back. We're fishing these scattered fish right now until the the tide consolidates them all onto a weed line. But just trolling these lures out the back and see if we can pick up a one of these scattered tarpon. You, typically, the ones that are by themselves, you know, one and twos are the the giants. Okay. So one of these rods goes off rolling. It ain't gonna be a small fish. So. Wow! Now better, you have you better start stretching on those floats. You actually have a, a, a swim. You have a swim bait. Yep, I got on, swim baits on, 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 on the four floats. Eight, four and, swim and I also have another big swim bait, a big plug kind of thing out there. So we are actually trolling three. But as soon as we find the fish rolling, we're gonna cast them. Oh yeah, we're gonna start casting too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Ah, so yeah, the big old giant I'm fish. You know, this is uh, interesting because uh, my son Scott. Uh, we used to have a place over here, Scott, just what, 15 miles from here. That's right. And when he was 15 years old, you were taking that little shoal water, you were taking that Dardro scooter all by yourself, all the way across the harbor, all the way to the, all your little snook holes. All yeah, the I, 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 yeah, I grew up fishing all the snook and redfish stuff right here. That was back before anybody even, there wasn't that many people fishing over here back then. Yeah. Brock, there wasn't. I mean, like, you'd go to these bays. I got worried when if I was back there fishing, and if I got stuck, that I'd have to sleep out there because there was nobody around. <laughs> now it's just people everywhere. But yeah, I'd run all those back, all through uh, Whittington and or uh, is it what? Wiggins, Wiggins, Wiggins Pass, Tur Turtle yeah. Bay, 
Yeah, you fish all that Turtle shallow Bay, stuff through there. Turtle Bay and Bull Bay and all those places. You would yeah. you would just you'd run that shoal water. You'd get up on the tower. You just he he was like 14 or 15 years old and he was running the boat all by himself, just big time. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> now Hillary's running the boat all by herself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you were uh, you were still in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even younger than that at, at times. 14, I think I was probably 15, 14 when I started 16. running around over here quite a bit. You yeah. know, by myself, just taking the yeah. boat, going wherever. You know, you know, you you think back about what made you a professional fisherman. It could have been some of these saltwater experiences you had over here. Yeah. It, it really helped a lot because it puts you on your own, you know, on your own. And you were just doing stuff all by yourself. And uh, you'd spend the whole day out here. And just at 14 years old, I mean, uh, you know, that's that that makes a fisherman. It really does. Yeah, catching bait and all that, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. You got to be a good cast netter. Yeah. In fact, in high school, he, he had a car and he had big, about a $2,000 stereo system. It was all done because of the shiners. You'd go out <laughs> yeah. and catch yeah. all the shiners and buy your car, buy your stereo. And he was, he'd made, I don't know how many thousands of dollars you made catching shiners. Yeah, had a, it was a nice little side hustle, that's for sure. <laughs> Get him, son. What you got? Scott's got one. <laughs> well, get him on the drifting rod. Is it on? on? No. Is it on? Yeah, he's on. Okay. Clear these rods. Hey, reel your rod in, roll him, please. Huh? Clear these rods, guys. Yeah, go around that other one, Scott. Is it rising? Yep. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Way up there. See the line? I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna get on Dude, top that's of something it. else, right? There that's it is! Oh my gosh! Dude, 200 pounds! 200 pounds! I knew it! That's 200 pounds! We put, we put some drifting rods out and we had... This one was on the float. No, we kind of... No, it wasn't rolling. You see the line? That's a big fish, guy. Yeah, it did look big. It's big, dude. Let me know when he's clear, like rising. Did you see the line or not? Yeah, not in the camera though. Okay. He's, he's rising a little bit. Come over. Scott's got a full-grown right donkey on. Put some heat on that fish, Scott. There he goes. There, he goes. there she goes. Right here. Remember to foul. Going left. Now he's right for the boat. Going to going to twelve. Here he comes. Here she here comes. comes. Here she comes. Right here. She's gonna jump. She's gonna jump. Scott's got a good one on, and it looks like it's almost, you know, well over 100 pounds, close to the 200 pound mark that we were talking about. There's some really big fish here in Charlotte Harbor. These are the big females that are in here in the fall, and there's a, a estimated a 3,000 big fish like this in this one area. So it's a pretty big deal. We were coming down this weed line where the birds are diving out front and we saw several fish roll. And so Scott and I were both casting our jigs and stuff to the spot. And then one of the one of the rods we hit drifting with the float on the back is the one that, that he has on now. And it was just a, out behind the boat and just a, in a rod holder. Wow, look at that fish. That's a giant. That's a big one, huh, Dad? Yeah, that's a big one. That's really big. 
Well, it's 150 over 150. Oh, yeah. yeah. She is wide. He's wide. Probably 160, Roland? Yeah, I'd say it's yep. pretty big. It's awful big. It's a full size grown tarpon. You know, we are, the benchmark in tarpon, anything over 100 pounds is a decent tarpon. Oh, yeah. And this is more than a, over 100 pounds. Yeah. It's, it's way over decent. Way more than decent. In the tarpon tournaments that we have, it takes about a 70 or so pound tarpon to be in the tournament. You know, oh, to, be really? a, to be a tarpon tournament, like in the, in the fly tournaments and stuff. So this is way, way big. This would probably win a fly tournament. Now, this is going to be a catch and release program. We we don't have a kill tag, and we're not, you know, we certainly want to release this fish, and that's... Whenever that's she lays over again, good. though, guys, whenever side of the boat is on, I need you to move out of my way so I can grab a fish. Follow what I'm saying? Keep her head up. Keep her head up. Keep her head up. Look at this fish, guys. Wow! Look at that fish! Look at that thing, guys! Hands on her, baby! Yeah! That's a big one. Woo! Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Woo! He's got it. Woo! He's got it. He's got That's it. a Look big one, dude. Open That's a big one. Hold this rod, Dad. That's a big pick. Hold the rod. Okay. You want to free? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go, go ahead, Scott. Go, go go Help him. Help him. Can you get it? Giant, Scott. That's a giant fish. Can you get him, Scott? That's a giant fish. You got her, Scott? I don't know. Got it. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Come here. Come here. Watch that hook, brother. Get them things back in there. That's a big one. That's one big fish. I got her, I got her. Oh, she might, she, huh? honestly, that's, that's 170, 180. Yeah. Wow, that's, all that's right. 170, 180 yeah. pound yeah, fish. That's a big one. That's a big one. You see how thick she is? One. That's a big wow. one, son. Wow. Hey, uh, Roland, I'm going to see if I can hand, uh, um, McCoy, my phone real quick. I want to give, uh, I want to get some pictures of us three holding Okay, it. okay. Okay. Let's do a good revival on her, Scott. Exactly. Jump out of the way, get what some photos. What we're going to do now, folks. Let me get a picture. We're going to go slowly in here. Oh, that's a giant. Thing. And we're going to try to resuscitate this fish as best we can. Scott, look at me. That's a monster. Yeah. Roll and look at me. Okay. Uh, wow, this is what I've been, you know, I've, like, been, I've been daydreaming about this big, oh, this fish for a while, man. That's it. She there goes. goes. Hey, where you go? <laughs> Catch your release. <laughs> hey, that hook did a pretty good job. It was oh, yeah. hooked him in the right spot. Right in the buttons. It's, right it's, in the buttons. it's really it's the sure. perfect place to hook. Hey, Scott, I didn't get my tarpon today. You got a beautiful 160 pounder, folks. Know, hey, you really got the thing going. And it's time for us to leave. We're going to go. I know. I'm going to come back. We, hey, you're only an hour away. I'm an hour and 20 minutes away. We'll come back, Brock, if you'll have us again. Oh, definitely. Because we, like, the other day he had 13 in one day uh, on. Nine, eight. We come over here today. It just didn't happen. But we got to come back. Brock, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, you can look me up, tarponcoastfishing.com. Yes, tarponcoastfishingcharters.com. Good. Okay. Hey, folks, I tell you, this is a big deal. He's caught 500 tarpon this year, and he's, he's going to get some. That's right. Hey, so, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you again soon. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. So, way to go. We're going to go.